Hello guys, today we are going to see what is a SCADA system. SCADA is the acronym for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. SCADA systems are typically used to perform data collection and control at the supervisory level. This implies that the system is not critical to control the process in real time and there is a separate integrated real time automated control system that can quickly respond to compensate for the process changes to the time constraints of the process. This means that SCADA system is just a supervisory system and control system. For the machine, uh, machine own system, its safety system and its other controlling functions are dedicatedly performed by its own unit such as a PLC. Uh, for example, a PLC may control the flow of food and water through part of an industrial process. But the SCADA system may have other operators to change the set points for the flow and enable the alarm condition such as loss of flow and high temperature to be displayed and recorded. So here we change the SCADA system at the upper level and two PLCs, PLC1 and PLC2. Each PLC is performing their own functions and we are observing the two behaviors at the supervisory level. And we may change the set points. But the own control loop, control loop's own uh, performance is controlled by independent PLCs. So this is another example of a SCADA system where we have uh, three radio modems, R2, 1, 2, 3, and R2, 4. So, the, uh, one important thing in SCADA system is that its architecture. Its architecture is in the form of M2 and R2. We have various R2 local and units which are geographically dis uh, uh, dispersed and one master terminal unit at the control room. Here we see that we have R2, 1, maybe 10 kilometers from the uh, main control room and R2, 2. And there is R2 4. Here we have landline link. So this is what a SCADA system looks like. So this is your main terminal unit, master terminal where we have a PLC, and this is the AB or the operator that stations on the local area network. Another practical example uh, is that this is the R2 example. Here we have a PLC here which is communicating its data on the radio link to the uh, master control you know for example this is a website we have all the parameters of the web for example animal pressure temperature pressure flowing pressure temperature uh, double s v triple s means statuses and all other statuses uh, on this plc and we are controlling the fcv through it um, uh, and uh, double s means uh, and esd commands through it so we would, we would be having digital input and uh, analog input as well as analog output and digital output on our PLC uh, unit and all this data is now being transferred on the frequency the frequency can be anything like 151 megahertz so and this is your master terminal unit and we have the master terminal unit so this is a practical example here we have two types of uh, uh, radio, uh, radio based the system where we have the data coming to this radio one and going to this uh, MTU based on the control wave uh, controllers. There are two redundant controllers, and here we have uh, we have the data coming on the radio model and directly going to the uh, station. Uh, this computer in which we have a software from where it, the, all the data is being coded. So this is how a SCADA system basically works in the form of 